Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Oliver Grayson. He made his first appearance in Invincible, issue number 26, that was released in September of 2005. He's also gone by the aliases of Kid Omni-Man and later Young Omni-Man being the hybrid son of the popular and powerful Nolan Grayson, AKA Omni-Man. And this young impulsive hero has gray eyes and black hair, originally having purple skin, but later growing to have that coloration fade away. Now, Oliver is a unique hybrid of pure blood Viltrumite and Thraxan genetics, which gives him the rare mixture of abilities from both of his parents. From his Viltrumite father, he has a long list of vast superhuman abilities, such as vast superhuman strength, speed, agility, near invulnerability, healing factor, flight, and self-sustenance. Although he has an overall lower potential than a pure blood Viltrumite or even a Viltrumite human hybrid, due to Thraxan physiology not quite being as compatible with Viltrumites as humans are. Despite Viltrumites having near universally dominant genetics over any other species, and he also possesses a vastly decelerated aging from the normal Thraxan lifespan, which by the way, is approximately only nine months. This is tricky here because conversely, Viltrumites live to be thousands of years old. And so it's been shown that although Oliver very quickly advanced through infancy, teenage years, into adulthood, he would stay in his adult physical prime for hundreds of years, although falling short of the thousands of years afforded to pure blood Viltrumites. However, this shortcoming would be offset by his Thraxan heritage giving him accelerated learning, with him learning and fully understanding just about any concept given to him instantly. It's being noted that he's actually remembered everything in his life, even from his birth. Now, the only things that could be considered a weakness is that Oliver is extremely impulsive and short-tempered, which itself has also led to him losing his left arm and jaw, which were later replaced by weaker cybernetic parts. Now, we first see Oliver on his birth planet of Thraxa, which at the time was being ruled over by his father Omni-Man and his native wife Andressa. Omni-Man, aka Nolan, had sent for his son Mark, who's better known as Invincible, to come visit them on their world and possibly help defend against an impending Viltrumite attack. And not long after Invincible arrived, the Viltrumite Lucan would lead the invasion forcing Nolan and Mark to do their best to try to hide Oliver and his mother. Although these attempts would fail and Nolan would be taken into custody, while Mark and Oliver would barely get away and end up helping the Thraxan people rebuild their shattered world. During that short rebuilding period, Oliver would rapidly age and grow closer to his older brother. And eventually the decision would be made that due to Oliver's slow aging when compared to his Thraxan people, it would be best for him to go with Mark back to Earth. When the two brothers arrived on Earth, Invincible's mom named Deborah would eventually end up taking in Oliver as her own son, as well as this young newcomer catching the attention of Cecil Stedman and his government agency, who of course was ecstatic about potentially having a new superpowered hero on his side. In just a few short months, Oliver would grow rapidly in appearance and in intellect, very quickly getting to the point that he would make a visit to the tailor to get his costume and begin superhero work on Earth as Kid Omni-Man. And although he would have success with adapting to his new powers and role, his hot-headedness and inexperience with his own power levels would lead to an occasion where he actually buried the Mauler twins, then temporarily finding himself at moral odds with his brother. Things would cool off for a while until the supervillain named Angstrom Levy would unleash an army of extra-dimensional duplicates of Mark, sparking the Invincible War. And although Oliver's efforts were so-so against an evil incarnation of his brother, he would be key in the final victory against Angstrom Levy and his Invincible army. Not too long after this, Oliver's impulsivity would get him in trouble again, when he interfered in a battle that his brother was having with the powerful Viltrumite named Conquest. This was the first occasion that Oliver was nearly beaten into the grave. But after only a few days in a military hospital, Oliver would completely recover and get right back to fighting supervillains, albeit with a new costume and a new name, now going by Young Omni-Man. We'd later see Oliver pitch in during the efforts that would lead up to the epic Viltrumite War, during this time reuniting with his father and overall growing closer with his family, which culminated in the three superpowered Graysons having exploits on the behalf of the coalition forces. That is, until during one battle, Oliver made the mistake of confronting the Viltrumite Grand Regent, also known as Thrag. 
And unfortunately for the young superhero, Thrag was way above his pay grade, easily shattering his jaw and ripping his arm completely off of his body, which resulted in Oliver losing consciousness and his part in the war being over. Lucky for him though, he would awaken weeks later in a hospital on the planet Telscria, having healed very well, with his skin now covering his newly acquired artificial arm and jaw. During this downtime is when he would get very close with Alan the Alien, bonding with the powerful hero while his father and brother were pursuing Viltrumites back on Earth. But there would be waves in paradise when Oliver would side with Alan over his brother and father concerning the topic of unleashing the dreaded Scourge virus over Earth in an attempt to try to take out all of the Earthbound Viltrumites. Omni-Man and Invincible didn't want this, but Alan and Oliver did. This would lead to intense conflict, even pulling the powerful Thrag, who had been aware of this plan, into the fray. Once again, Oliver's rash decisions would lead to him accidentally blasting his brother in the face with a full dose of the Scourge. The little brother instantly regretting this horrible outcome. But luckily this conflict would be resolved, Invincible would recover, and Oliver and his brother would make up. This and other events would lead to Oliver taking somewhat of a sabbatical on Telscria, reevaluating his ideas about the importance of life. He would eventually join back up with his brother and the heroes, doing superhero work as usual, until it was revealed that Oliver was doing double agent work for Thrag, believing that Thrag had the best interests of the Viltrum Empire when compared to others. But his loyalty to the now deposed Grand Regent would be tested when Thrag reveals that he and two of his favorite hybrid children were going to go take out Mark and his family. This would lead to Oliver intervening for his brother, but he would lose his life to Thrag in the process. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Oliver Grayson a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.